In today's episode, we're continuing on with the laundry room. I'm excited for what has happened so far. So if you want to see what's being completed, you know what to do. Stick around. Well, the contractor said that he didn't like the way the cabinet looked that I had did the prime on. So he scraped it down, sanded it, and he repainted it. So he said this way the paint will take to it better. So I missed him taking down the top shelf because he had to take it down because the way um, the old owners had did the shelf, they had put the rod in incorrectly. Now I will be showing you a picture of that, but he had to take down that top shelf and the parts to get ready for the new install. Now everything is because of that hole. So, You'll find out more details on in the video, but here he is putting the shelf back after he fixed it and he put the cabinet up. I missed all of that because I was another part of the house. Now for surprises. You know when you always do something, you find something you didn't expect. Now the old owners, what they did, instead of cutting that pole off that goes the whole up close, you know the pole that normally sits on the hook here they took the pole instead of cutting it they cut a hole in the wall and stuck the pole through the wall through the wood piece that was up here like this one they took this wood piece cut a hole in it and stuck the pole through the wall tell me how much sense that makes but hey you live and you learn I'm waiting for my handyman to get here today. He's going to plug up that hole and do all that to it today. He's going to plug up that hole and fix it today so that hole won't be there. This is where we're at. Okay, we just have to put the door on. Okay, I'm contemplating putting paper on the wall. I'm looking at a wallpaper to put up top in here. And then on the cabinet door, on the cabinet, on the bottom and the top of that shelf, put the same paper so when you open the door, it's all the same. So my idea is coming to pass, guys. The handyman left a little while ago. He caulked everything and finished patching the wall. So I'm very excited. So the next thing I'll be doing is basically starting to paint in here. Wow. I'll be painting in here soon. I'm so excited. Now, doing all of this painting, I'm listening to a book, as a matter of fact, while I'm doing this. 
because I wanted to make sure I stayed calm and was able to complete my chore of the day. Now, as I said, I'm doing this by myself, the majority of the work, and I really am excited about doing this. And I wanted to show you that if somebody is my age, my size, can do all of this, I know you can too. Now, I do have issues that may cause me to stop and take breaks, but in overall, I really feel good about what I'm doing and what I've accomplished. Now, this whole laundry room idea, of course, you know, you've seen them all on YouTube, Pinterest, everything, and it's just this, this laundry room did not fit me. I really wanted to jazz it up some to give it a more modern look than it was. Um, I wanted the shelf because I wanted to be able to put some canisters in there that make things look a little bit neater and get things off the top of the washing machine and dryer. I know we all have that problem of having so many things piled on top of the washing machine and dryer and we want to make it look better and still be organized for us. Now the containers that I have purchased, I will remember to put up in the iCard or even down below. Uh, I will put a, uh, the video where I did the haul showing the things that I purchased for the laundry room. I want my laundry room to be nicely decorated, but still look like a laundry room, but be real organized. Um, my husband says I have OCD. I don't think I have OCD. I just, I'm a Virgo and you just like things to be where they are. And I like to have everything in the spot where when I look for it is there and I don't have to go on a scavenger hunt to find something. That's just Stephanie. So let me know what you think of this video and excuse my clothes i just put on something that i could use that i didn't mind getting paint on and what i had on first i would have been really ticked if i got paint on it so just getting paint on this old t-shirt and this old pair of short pants doesn't bother me so i hope it doesn't bother you but it is what it is the big girl is doing her thing
now that I have started and almost finished painting the trim of the laundry room, the big points that I call are already done. The trim work, the door, and then the next thing I'm going to start on will be the cabinet and the top shelf. So I'm really excited about how things are going. So I'm going to show you the overall look so far of the laundry room with the trim and the door painted. Next, I'll have to sleep up in here and get my mess off the floor. And then the next thing that will be painted will be the top shelf here and the cabinet and the door. So I'm putting the door on there. They will be the next items painted. Progress, y'all, progress. This shelf, I'm still debating if I'm going to stain it or paint it white. So that will come up in the next episode. If you want to see more, click the video here or the link below and you'll be blessed.